Yes, thank you. I'm Bruno Sara. I'm in uh, charge of localization projects for uh, KNDS Group. Uh, KNDS is the merge of uh, uh, Nexter uh, Systems in France and uh, KMW in Germany. Uh, we gathered our strengths and portfolio. The presence of KNDS in uh, Saudi Arabia is a long-term presence and the uh, exhibition today is the occasion to demonstrate our involvement in the 2030 Vision program. I started, as you mentioned, with a joint venture we have, we have put in place and is now actually uh, in place and, and rolling with Wahaj company. So this joint venture uh, will assemble the uh, modular charges for 155 millimeters. But this is the very first step of a long-term roadmap to localize in uh, Saudi Arabia the 155 uh, complete round, uh, starting from the modular charges, then the shell bodies, and then we can imagine further cooperation with for, for explosive supply, explosive filling, and so on. We also have some uh, partnerships under discussion to develop another ammunition, guided ammunition for 155 that is, is called Sabir. Follow-up of this partnership uh, in, in Saudi Arabia under discussion today is the development of the 155 mm guided ammunition uh, to be 100% uh, localized and developed, so this is under the roadmap and that will constitute the next step for ammunition localization. Yeah, this uh, 155mm uh, guided ammunition is uh, uh, the adaptation uh, to Saudi expectations of what we call katana in France. The idea is to uh, have 45 kilometers range ammunition with a metric preci precision that can be used with uh, GNSS denied uh, conditions. And this is also GPS free, as I mean, it doesn't depend on the GPS uh, cover. As you may know, we have uh, several projects, uh, commercial projects, uh, that all uh, involve some, some kind of, of localization. We have presented in November uh, to GAMI uh, the different roadmaps for the different uh, equipment and port of, of the portfolio that are considered in the kingdom. That comes from the turrets, advisor and any kind of artillery systems, uh, also some vehicles, uh, post of, uh, common post uh, vehicles. My name is uh, Shaukat Unal, I'm the Vice President for International Business Development and Marketing. Uh, this is the first time we are here at uh, Double Days in uh, Hall 1. Uh, it's a very exciting and very big show. Uh, we are really excited and very happy to be here. Uh, we are showcasing our uh, solutions, uh, basically how is a software company. And here in this show actually we are showcasing also our autonomous systems. As Hawasan, again, we are a software company, we are not too much into the hardware, but for the hardware development, it's open for collaboration with any company, because we are a hardware independent company. In the autonomous side, we are active in the VTOL segments under the clouds, and we have the unmanned ground vehicle solutions, and lastly, the naval uh, solution for the unmanned sea vessel, and the Kamikaze submersible which is actually an R&D project. So in the last couple of years, we have been investing a lot in autonomous systems. The future actually is digital, and we can see that's already started being used, but the future will be more and more digital troops. 
and that's why also Haosan will be there in the field with combat proven systems. The systems that we have provided are already in utilization by some armed forces, of course in our home country and in some other countries. WDS provides good platform for networking. We had already some good networks here in Saudi Arabia and of course uh, it's a big show, uh, attention from all around the world and of course from the uh, Mideast uh, countries also. We have established very good, in the, yesterday even, uh, very good uh, relations, new networks, new companies that we're introducing ourselves. We are also getting to know other companies located here in Saudi Arabia. It's a very good platform for uh, networking and collaborations. We are showing our products, uh, very interesting, uh, because we are a software company and a lot of uh, discussions are happening for joint development, also uh, joint uh, manufacturing here in Saudi Arabia. And this show actually provides this platform to have more discussions. Hi and welcome to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for the World Defense Show 2024. Army Recognition is the official web TV and provides also the online show daily news for this event. Today we will focus to the International Pavilion at WDS 2024. And now we will make a virtual tour about the Chinese Pavilion, where there is also many other countries from all over the world and including international pavilions from Greece, Turkey, France, United States, Canada and more. At uh, the Chinese uh, pavilion at WDS 2024, there is a full range of different type equipment from drones to combat vehicles, tanks, air defense system, missile, and full of all the products to showcase the latest innovation and technologies of Chinese defense industry. You can see here now the Wing Long 2. It's a male UAVs and very popular in Asia and Africa. This wound is armed with different types of missiles and bombs. Drones and loitering ammunition is a very important topic at the Chinese Defense Pavilion. There is a full range of different types of drones, including large drones and also small drones. A very interesting uh, drones presented by the Chinese Defense Industry at WDS 2024, it's uh, the ASN-30. It's really very similar to the shade drone used by the Russian forces in the conflict in Ukraine. The design of the drone is very similar. It's as a Delta design drones with the warhead at the front and the engine at the rear. This type of drone is used as a, a kamikaze drones to target combat vehicles or military facilities. Today with the, with the war in Ukraine, the loitering ammunition is a very important topic and is used by many forces to target combat vehicles or to fight or target uh, enemy position. In this case, you can see the FL-10 loitering munition. For the naval sector, the Chinese defense industry also presents different types of unmanned surface vessel but also unmanned underwater vehicles, which can uh, be used to conduct uh, combat operation against ships and large vessels. 
Chinese defense industry also produce and manufacture different types of small arms, including 40 millimeter grenade launcher. And you can see now the LG-5A, a 40 millimeter automatic small grenade launcher. And all the products are also displayed at the Chinese pavilion, including the LG-4C, the LG-4A. Different types of small arms are also displayed at the Chinese pavilion at WDS 2024, including the 9mm submachine gun CX LS7 and also sniper rifle in 7.62mm caliber and 12.7mm caliber, including the NSG 1A and the NSG 50. Of course, today drones is one of the most important threats on the current modern battlefield. And of course, the Chinese defense industry has also developed a right, a right range of counter drone system. The Chinese FL-10 is very similar to the design of the US product with the warhead at the front, two wings mounted at the front and at the rear and the propeller at the rear of the ammunition. You can see you know, here, optics here at the front and at the front of the drone, uh, providing real-time uh, videos for the operator. In the field of loyalty ammunition, you can see now the FH-90L and the FH-90LA, also produced by the Chinese Defense Industry. At the same booth, we can see different type and design of drones, including helicopter drones and quadcopter drones. Chinese Defense Industry has also designed and developed a full range of new combat vehicles, including wheel and tracked armored vehicles. And here you can see one of the most modern built battle tank of the Chinese defense industry is the VT-4. It is the new generation of main battle tank from the Chinese defense industry. This tank is uh, fitted with new era explosive reactive armor and the turret and the side increase protection against new threats and anti-tank guided missile is fitted with a two-man turret, a helmet with a 120mm EV gun. A very unique product is a new infantry fighting vehicle produced and designed by the Chinese Defense Industry. This is a new generation of IV offering high level of protection. You can see the side and the front of the hull is uh, fitted with new armor and the turret is armored with two cannon, one 100mm and one 30mm cannon. Another very interesting product and also a new topic in the field of tank is the light tank. You can see now the VT-5. This is the new generation of light tank produced and designed by the Chinese defense industry. China has also developed a wide range of different type of wheel armored vehicles in 6x6, 8x8 and 4x4 configuration. In the field of artillery, China displays different type of scale model, including a 6x6 wheel self-propelled Owitzer SH-15, a 155mm self-propelled gun Owitzer, the tracked version of a self-propelled Owitzer PLZ-52 155mm Owitzer and the AH-4, a tower light gun Owitzer in 155mm caliber. There is also different scale model showcasing the different air defense capabilities of the Chinese defense industry using guns or air defense missiles. One of the highlights of the show at the, the Chinese Defense Pavilion is the LD-35. It's a new generation of 8x8 air defense uh, vehicles that include different types of weapons. The vehicle is fitted with a remotely operated weapon station, armored with a 30mm automatic cannon, four launcher for surface to air missile, and on the left side of the cannon, you can see also a laser weapon system.